Hello everyone, and I welcome all of you to online study for you a complete placement solution. Friends, before your TCS examination, it is very very important for you to attempt the mock test. Then only you will come to know how is your preparation and which area you have to put effort. From today we have started the mock test series, and this is the first mock test. Now let us start with the question number one. Before that, you first try to solve the question by yourself. If the nine digit number is divisible by 99, then the value of x, y, z, x plus y plus z square root, right? Now, so when 8, 7, 15, 6, 21, 9, 30, 38, 54 minus 38, that means 16 is square root of 16 is 4. So option A will be the correct answer, right? So you have to be that quick in the examination to solve the major problems, right? So many of you, when you will see the problems, you will not be able to solve or you will leave it like that only. Let us understand the logic first and then I will tell you what I did. So if a nine digit number, so it is 807XY69Z8 is divisible by 99, then the value of X plus Y plus Z to the power 1 by 2. 1 by 2 means basically square root of X plus Y plus Z. Okay, fine. No issues. So if a number is divisible by 99, it should be divisible by its factor 9 and 11. And if a number is divisible by 9, then the sum of the numbers, then the sum of the numbers should be divisible by 9. Like 729, is it divisible by 9 or not? So if the sum, that means 7 plus 2 is 9, 9 plus 9 is 18. Sum 18 is divisible by 9, then this number will be divisible by 9. So here also this we will see for what value of x plus y plus z this number is divisible. So let me calculate the sum here, right? So which I had done it manually, right? So you do not have to do all those things just to explain you I am doing divided by 9, okay? Now, so instead of 99, I will try by 9 and 11 and instead of 9 and 11, I will try only by 9 because we need the value of x plus y plus z. So 8 plus 7 is 15, 21 and then 30, 38. 38 plus x plus y plus z divided by 9. So now, what value I should place here, okay? So now what value I should place here so that this number will be divisible by 9. So the next, so 9, 4 ja will be 36 and then 9, 5 ja will be 45 and then 9, 6 ja will be and then 9, 6 ja will be 54. Now, so if I put x plus y plus z is, right? So 45 minus 38, that means 7, right? So if I put here 7, then this number will be divisible by 9. But if the value of x plus y plus z is equal to 7, we cannot solve it. Now we will have to check 54. So 54 minus 38. That means if I add 16 here, if I add 16 here, then it will become the next factor of 9. Okay, that is 54. So this will be nothing but 6 times, right? So 16. So if x plus y plus z is 16, then we can easily calculate the square root. And here the answer will become option A, right? So I hope it will be clear to you. Okay. Uh, anyway, there are different different methods to solve this. I have told you the shortest method here. Now, the simplified value of a square root of 32 plus a square root of 48 divided by a square root of 8 plus a square root of 12. Friends, see, as soon as you see the question, no, you don't decide that you should do or not. Okay. See, at least you have to try. And better if you solve this kind of questions before you go for the actual examination. Okay. Now, the simplified value of 32. So 32, you calculate the prime factor. So 2 into 2 is 4, 4 into 2 is 8, 8 into 2 is 16, 16 into 2 is 32. So basically, I can write this here 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 plus 48. How can you write? So 48, I can write 2 into 2 is 4, 4 into 2 is 8, 8 into 2 is 16, 16 into 3 is 48 divided by square root of 8 so 2 into 2 into 2 see something will happen first you try okay so 12 2 into 2 is 4 4 into 3 is 12 now so instead of 2 2 1 2 will come out instead of 2 2 1 2 will come out that means 4 root 2 plus instead of 2 2 1 root 1 2 will come out instead of 2 2 1 2 will come out 4 root 3 divided by this is instead of 2 2 1 2 will come 2 root 2 plus again here 2 will come out 2 root 3 now you see so what I will do, I will take four common from here. So square root of two plus square root of three. And now if I'll take two common here, square root of two and plus square root of three, right? So this is canceled two twos are. 
So basically two will be the correct answer, right? See all these things now. I mean, you do not have to write these steps. You will tell me, sir, you are only taking one or two minutes. How we will do in the examination? Why you will take so much of time? See, for some problem, it is understood, right? But this one, 32. So 32 is what? 16 into 2. So 4 root 2, right? 48, 16 into 3. That means 4 root 3. 8, 2, 4, 4 into 2. So 2 root 2. 12, 4 into 3. So 2 root 3. Now 4 out, 2 out. So 2 will be the correct answer. That's all. How much time you will take, right? But if I will tell you like this, then you will ask, sir, how 4 came? How we can write like this? Lot of questions will be there in the comment section, okay? Now, if the arithmetic mean is 16, while the arithmetic mean of this is 41, then find P plus Q divided by P minus Q. One thing which you need to understand is arithmetic mean, right, is nothing but average, is nothing but average, okay? And you know how to find out average. And also, friends, if you like the mock test one, then please do comment. Based on your interest only, I'll be making mock test of full length where more than 10 questions will be done. In this video, we, have, we are doing only five questions. So if you really like, then we will be doing for the 10 uh, mock test and also the live classes have started. So don't miss get uh, this uh, course as soon as possible uh, so that the, you will not be missing the live classes here. Okay, fine. So if the arithmetic mean is 16, while the arithmetic mean is 41, fine. So arithmetic mean is average. So now and average formula, you know, so average will be sir sum by number. Okay, so average is 16 and sum we have to calculate. And how many numbers are there? So uh, sum is what? Sum uh, numbers are already there. 23 plus, 15 plus, 19 plus, P plus, 12 plus, 7, and divided by uh, 6, right? So total number is 6. Now, so 16 into 6, 96 plus. So here you see uh, 12 plus 7 is 19. 19 plus 19 is 38, okay? And this is also 38. So this will become 76 plus P. So the value of P will become 20. The value of B will become 20, right? Okay, now, so again, one more arithmetic mean. So average will be equal to sum by number, sum by number. Average they have given is 41 and sum. So 37 plus, 28 plus, 53 plus, Q plus 42, right? And total number is five. Now, so 41 into five will be 205 is equals to, so two plus three, five, 813 and 722. So 6 plus 5, 11. 11 plus 2 is 13. 13 plus 3 is 16 plus Q. So Q will be 45. We got P, we got Q. Now P plus Q divided by Q minus P, they're asking. So 45 plus 20 and divided by 45 minus 20. So this will become 65 divided by 25. So this will become 13 and this will become 5. So 5 twos are 10 and 5 6 are. 2.6. That's all option A will be the correct answer for the question number three. Don't get afraid of the question. Read, understand, and then do. So you will be able to do. Okay. Now question number four is a compound interest problem. A sum amounts to rupees 16,000 at the end of three years and rupees this. So what they're telling you invested X rupees and it is becoming uh, 16,000 rupees in three years. Okay. And you again invested same money and it is becoming 25,600 rupees at the end of six years, okay? Now, so this is a compound interest problem. You know the formula for amount. So let us first write for this. So amount will be equal to, amount will be equal to, right? So amount will be equal to principal into one plus R by 100 to the power N. This is formula for your amount in compound interest. Principal is not known into one plus R by 100 so this is becoming in six year equation one and then 16,000 is equals to principal into one plus R by now I'm writing equation for this. Okay. This is two. Now what you do. So you divide one by two. So you divide one by two. So what will happen if you'll try to understand P and P will get canceled. This two zero and this two zero will get canceled and this is three and this is six times. So basically it will get divided by three times. Okay. So it will get divided by three times. So one plus R by 100 cube will be equal to 256 divided by 160. So this is, uh, so 1616, 16, yeah. so it will become 16 by 10. 
this is my equation three now this equation three no you put it in equation two okay see these are simple i mean see you don't need to write all those things you don't need to write all these steps okay so you can do it in only one step okay that's what i wanted to tell you from that time now p into 1 plus r by 100 q 1 plus r by 100 q is 16 by 10 is equals to 16000 okay so 16 and 16 cancelled so p will be equal to 10000 principal you got as 10000 okay now find the simple interest earned if the same sum is invested at 15 percent rate and time is two years so simple interest is very simple prt by 100 prt by 100 so 10,000 into rate is 15, time is 2, and divided by 100, 2020 cancelled. So it will be nothing but 3,000. So 3,000, any option? Oh, uh, yes, option A, 3,000 rupees will become the correct answer. Question number 5 is a tricky problem. Question number 5 is a tricky problem. Please try to understand. There is no any method where you can make this problem simpler. But at least I will try to explain you. So that with that method, you will be able to do quickly in the examination. Okay. Now, so before I go with this question, I wanted to tell you about marked price, cost price, and selling price. Friends, when you go to mall, okay. So when you go to any mall, right? Okay. So in the mall, what will happen? Suppose I am a shopkeeper. I got a sort for a thousand rupees, right? I got a sort for thousand rupees. So I got a sort for thousand rupees. Now. I have to sell to the customers in the mall. So definitely in the mall, I need to give rent to the mall people. Okay. I have to give, you know, uh, salary to the staffs. And then I also have to earn, right? I also have to earn. Okay. Now, so what I will do, so I will increase the price and I will put it 20, 2000 rupees. Okay. So you, I will put a tag. So when you go to a mall and when you see the sort, you will be seeing a tag. In the tag, the price which is mentioned is nothing but 2000 rupees, okay? Now, but what is the Indian human mentality? If there is no discount, okay, then they will hesitate to go. But if we'll tell there is a discount of 10%, then they will see, oh, 10% discount, let's go. So 10% discount means, 200 rupees that means you will have to pay 1800 rupees right so that means you will be selling at 1800 and then also you will have a profit of 800 rupees that's how the whole thing of profit and loss work and that's how uh, this happens in the mall okay now so i hope if this is clear then at least this problem uh, we will try to make it more easier so selling an item at 5 by 6 office marked price now so marked price I will keep at 60. Why, sir? Whatever you want, you take. What You take whatever you want. No, it's it doesn't work like that, right? Okay. Then I have told you in my basic classes. That's what I was telling you. So if you get this crash course, your concept will get clear. For any examination, it will be more than sufficient, right? You can assume any value. My dear friends, if your options are in percentage, no. If your options are in percentage, then you can take any value which you want. So... I assumed 60 so that when I calculate 5 by 6, okay, then it will be easily divisible. Sir, I will take 100. Take now 5 by 6, it will give you fraction. So, unnecessary, don't get into fraction. So, now the marked price was 60 rupees. So, selling an item. So, what is selling an item? Selling an item 5 by 6. That means if I am selling at 5 by 6, if I am selling at 50 rupees, okay, if I am selling at 50 rupees of okay selling an item at five by six of its marked price results in a loss of 10 percent right results in a loss of 10 percent okay cost price okay cost price i am assuming as x okay cost price i am assuming at x now so this is the data i have okay so if i am selling at 50 rupees i am getting a loss of x so you know the formula for selling price selling price will be equal to cost price into 100 minus percentage of loss divided by 100 right okay now so selling price i have kept as 50 okay then cost price assumed as x 100 minus loss so 100 minus loss is nothing but 90 divided by 100 right so 
we have got the cost price from here so cost price is nothing but 500 by 9 so cost price we have got is 500 by 9 clear cost price we have got as 500 by 9 because we know the selling price now okay and we know there is a loss of 10 percent okay till here fine till here crystal clear you should not have any doubt now now what they are telling what is the percentage profit or loss if a discount of five percent is offered on the mark price marked price is 60 right now you are going to offer a discount of five percent and sell so five percent of 60 will be what so five percent of 60 will be uh three rupees right so that means now you are going to give a discount of five percent that means three rupees and you will be selling at 57 okay cost price we have already calculated by yeah it is 500 by 9 they're asking what is the percentage of profit and loss so percentage of profit or loss we can calculate like this so definitely there is a profit here right because uh 57 right so 50 okay so anyway profit or loss we will see so profit will be what selling price minus cost price okay divided by cost price into 100 right okay so 9 so 9 7 ja, 63 3 6 and 45 plus 6 is 51 minus 500 this 9 and 9 will any will get cancelled divided by 500 into 100 so this will be 13 by 500 into 100 so this two will get cancelled 5 2 ja, and 5 6 ja, 2.6 percent of the profit right 2.6 percent of the profit sorry or uh, not option a profit so 2.6 percent of the profit that means option b will be the correct answer this was a wonderful problem and this has been solved in a very easier way trust me if you'll go with x and y you will put the same problem on the google and you can check the solution right so if you like this video please let me know in the comment section that sir please continue with more mock test series and we wanted to seriously clear this TCS NQT smart hiring or BPS examination.